What's going on, my boys? It's YT Dan back at it again with another episode of Dank Yu Gi Oh! News. So, today we're going to be getting in there with more Dank News because we have to talk about everything that's happening in the Yu Gi Oh! World Championships 2024. Now, what's going on is a myriad of drama. Decayed might have done an oopsie. The VR for Duel Links has been announced and I'm hearing a lot of people talking about how they missed the old Duel Links this weekend. So let's just start out with missing the old Duel Links. My boy 6K is at it again with another spicy video. He made a video with a really good um, intro to it. So I want to share that with y'all. It's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you right now. intros man y'all know how i feel about intros but my boy team 6k he put that together made me reminisce and think about that i had people in the comment section talking about how it moved them how how it even made them like tear up and, and reminisce of the good old days and i mean yes my boy it is insane i did have such feelings so shout out to the boy team 6k for that and i just wanted to bring this like positive news because i think you know the dual links community definitely has put in a lot of work and you know um that has uh built up a lot of interesting cool things for the community and you know what the Yu-Gi-Oh community is now is just you know an amazing uh you know um, it, it is an amazing result of all those actions in the past all right speaking of actions in the past all the money that you spent in Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links is now um being put to work yet again um when we bought into Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links and made all that great content and you guys bought all those amazing cards and of course we bought all those cards so you guys could see us open them live on the stream um Konami took all that money and created Master Duel and Cross Duel um, they got rid of Cross Duel. They wasted a lot of money there, I suppose. But now here's their second um, money uh, venture. Um, outside of the AI that they said is on the way for Master Duel, they did promise that they are going to be dropping um, VR for um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. So let's just check out a little bit of that from your boy Rhyme Style. In a second. Duel. And also being able to just like hold this was just so cool. Again, you don't get to see that in this, but... In the actual game that I played, you had the, the car like in your hand. You could you were able to like move it around and stuff like that. So it asks you to summon it. And this is so cool because she's like right above you. So we get the animation that you get from the Spectre of you. Like I said, she pops out. Similar to what we saw in games like Duel Links. It's very animated. It looks really beautiful. But in the actual game, she's like right there. You're just like, whoa. You can move around and everything. And the cool thing is she's interacting with you too, which is kind of sick. So I think this is the part where they're sensing that there's going to be a monster popping up. And what I really like about this is this gave me the same feelings that we saw in Yu-Gi-Oh. First of all, you see how she gets annoyed with Kaiba? Because like Kaiba's supposed to be like this like annoying character in, in that universe. It's like, oh, he's like a jerk type of thing. Um, but the whole time Dark Magician Girl is there next to you. She's like checking in on you. She's like, what do we do? Are you okay? 
in like a protective way. It reminded me of, of literally how it was in the anime. You know, when Yugi would be figuring out his place, he has his uh, cards in his hand, and you have, you know, Dark Magician, um, Dark Magician Girl, and all the other cards he placed next to him doing that. So at this point, Sage pops out. I don't know what Sage thinks he's going to do, but it ain't going to be winning. And this is to demonstrate what an attack would look like. Again, you watch this from FPS view. This is not what it looked like inside it. <laughs> the way the guy was just standing there that was me in the actual uh, gameplay and you see her in front of you fly up and zap soggy into non-existence and that was so cool but look now we got Ooh, look at it subject number 25 summon the monster the best card ever made Wait, there we go all right well i watch this watch this you saw this from the other spec therapy but look now we got the first person view hey hey look at me look at me <laughs> number 25 SBR, is rising even higher now nah, she got my back she got my back watch this we, do? We, we should continue the test right answer the next step involves monster attacks summoning monster to opponent's field I like how they send Soggy after you. Like, what is Soggy gonna do? Now again, picture this as the future. Right. Now, Tell me this will be like the greatest thing of all time. Dark Magician Girl, take out that clown. Attack successfully destroyed that monster. Number 25's SBR is skyrocketing. Let's see how they do against my next monster. So that's pretty dope. I mean, I'm super excited for this. There's only like one thing that that like like I mean, obviously you see him using it here. Um, but there is one thing that I remember hearing um as they were explaining this uh in the in the video i remember the background voice of like whoever was working for kaiba made mention something about replays i think this is gonna be so dope there I, there's basically gonna be like if you really think about it if konami now the voice mentioned this but if konami doesn't do this i'll be greatly disappointed but replays with this is going to be amazing just all your duels are going to be amazing but they just mentioned it that specifically this is that we know this is going to be in duel links specifically number one and number two it's going to have replays <laughs> you already see what they're doing and they're speeding up the game adding the biru effect veiler and all this other stuff I encourage you to start playing some Duel Links right now. Um, if this does come out and it's as cool as they, as they um, propose it to be, and you can actually watch replays in this VR mode and and, 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 and that stuff can be like put onto YouTube. Oh yeah, you, you better make sure your Duel Links account is ready, I think. Decayed, done, an oopsie. Or who knows, I don't know what's going on with this, honestly. This is one of those funny subjects where um, I found myself in the last two years, anytime something like this would happen, I would just never be um, fully aware of like what's going on. I would just kind of be hit by this whirlwind of information. So I'm kind of trying to put this into context so that we can begin to have a discourse on this. But also I see that there is a ton of comments and, and chatter about this on youtube but most of the conversation is being held on twitter and i personally don't be on twitter all the time but um yeah i definitely oh sorry x or whatever but yeah it's over there so basically what's going on here is the world championships is going on currently going on right now you know at the time uh which was yesterday uh the world championships were it pretty much in there like um qualifier matches and and the world champions were uh getting ready to uh duel for master duel now somehow the dex the dex information was shared somewhere online it's accessible somewhere online and um decayed or whomever works with decayed on his website it might not have been decayed personally i don't personally know that it was him who 
push the button but someone from his organization has basically posted the decks information while the tournament is progressing so you know it's, it's pretty obvious that sharing player information online is definitely a bad idea and 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 probably more than likely against some kind of rule somewhere because you know if the tournament actively is going on Yu-Gi-Oh is a game of knowledge and if these cards and decks are purposely hidden in the game well you would assume that they need to remain hidden as the uh tournament progresses however this information was shared um on Decay's website now um one point I did see that a lot of people were bringing up on Twitter that this is kind of falls on Konami's fault because Konami needs to have better um, rules and regulations in terms of their policies on their data. They need to have better codes and rule enforcements to make sure that leaks like this don't happen. And also their data shouldn't be so easily accessed. And then also folks are saying this is on decay because decay definitely should have been um not just putting this information out as someone who is a former champion who has worked with konami he should know better so you know where do i fall in on this what do i think about all this to be very frank as i looked into it even deeper i i couldn't really find an answer as to kind of like what was going on it's just it's actually a lot of information out and, and chatter on twitter that that honestly kind of muddies the waters and until decay comes out and says something and he hasn't up until this point you know who knows what's really going on but one thing i did notice that i thought was pretty interesting there's a website called um untapped gg and and some people were saying that you know it's not konami's fault or decay's fault is these guys fault and i'm you know i was unaware of what untapped gg was and primarily untapped gg is some sort of real-time data website um that is taking data from um primarily trading card games and things like that and um providing it in some sort of like third-party client so I, you know, I don't really know a lot about Untapped GG, but apparently some people were saying that maybe Untapped GG, the access to Untapped GG and, and the way it pulls and accumulates data, you know, provided information to 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 Decade or whoever, and he was able to put it on his website. But then on that same token or that same note, if untapped gg is a public site and a public business where anyone can access it you know just because decay put it on his website doesn't mean that other folks don't have access to this outside of decay and it doesn't mean that this is being exchanged in private circles which was i believe was one of the arguments someone was making on decay's behalf or or maybe i'm not sure who said that per se but i know in terms of all this information i've been reading that was one of the arguments so this is kind of a very muddy situation where it seems that konami on one hand kind of as usual um uh kind of left a, a back door open to for something that has never been thought about or 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 contemplated um i guess at a high level from their end and then now at this point where it's getting some exposure there seems to be a lot of uh um animosity and anger around this and i honestly um don't know so i really would love to hear what you guys opinions are in the comment section below because if nothing else this definitely qualifies as dank news so i'm gonna thank you guys for watching and as always keep it dank